One of the interesting things for me is to see the different, learn and meet the different kinds of experts we have in this network. Here we are, we have an expert on the impacts of tourism by cruise ship, and we have an expert on um, plants and the, the unique environment and nature of this beautiful country. You have a counterpart in the Green Map Network somewhere else in the world that you can partner with outside of Green Map or beyond Green Map to make change happen. So the synergies that we have, and this is why we need to have more opportunities to meet together in person. Even though there's an environmental impact there, the potential is seeded at that point, and then we can do more and more together. Here in Iceland, that you have captured around food issues, around tourism, and how do we make these many different industries more sustainable? I like that very much. I just wanted to ask you because you, you know, started out in 1992 with a green map, mm -hmm. um, and now it's 2013. Yes. In your mind, what's the most major impact? Green Map has made different parts of the world. Well, one of the things that's been very exciting to us is how it's transformed the people who make the maps. They have new skills, new networks, and new knowledge. And this not only affects the quality of their maps, but enables them to do all kinds of sustainability work in their communities. So that's part of the reason we made the impacts books. What happened because of the maps, which is very different in each place, but also what happened to you because of the maps in your organization or your office? That has been terrific. What we're doing, though, is we're promoting every kind of sustainability initiative. And many times places do not have any kind of marketing budget. They're generally ignored by the media. They're not known to visitors or to people in the community. So we elevate the place, we highlight it, what it's doing. And this brings other companies, other sites like that, whether it's a garden or a farm or a restaurant, anything. And you can start to learn, oh, so they've added composting, here's how they manage it. Or they've changed their energy source. Or they've started using fair trade, made in the community products. Here's the economic value that starts having this knock-on effect in many different ways.